Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Wind Waker. This is part 11. I am Maddles and Earth Platty, and we are approaching very rapidly. Actually, a lot rap more rapidly than I thought. Dragon Roost Isle. It's going to be great. I hope there's a dragon there. Man, are we going to get to meet a dragon? I mean, not a fake dragon like this boat who looks very angry at me. Probably because I'm selling his butt. But a real dragon. Oh my lord, there is actually a dragon up there. No kidding. It's definitely Dragon Roost Island. Oh, where did our sail go? There, on the horizon. That is our destination, Demerb. Dragon Roost Island. That is a little bit more than our horizon, buddy. And there's Beetle! Cool. Atop this island's peak lived the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. I'm pretty sure I ate one of those once. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this isle about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot, wait one moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used a long time ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. They don't do that now because they aren't real, but never mind. You can still try it out, I mean, it's pretty nifty. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you, despite its lack of use. Perhaps you should try using it. Okay. I first conduct him free for time. Do not touch Al. Try matching the rhythm with tilting Ah, okay, so it's basically like the wolf howling in Twilight Princess. Oh my jeez, that's... okay. I see, I see. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is in 4-4 time. Hold to change the rhythm. Okay. Nice. That's it, Demer. There is a dog barking in your background. I hope it stops very soon. That was not bad, though, for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. One, one moment. Okay, there we go. You can also conduct with it in 6-4 time by tilting the left analog stick to the right. You would do well to remember that. Got it. Nice. I wonder where he was hiding that Mr. Suspicious boat. Because I didn't see it while I was in the back. You disgust me. <sighs> Let's go. What's down here? Wind Shrine Mail Center. Uh. Okay, so there are boulders in the way. It looks like I can blow these up. If only I had the frickin' 10,000 bombs. Okay, what's down here? Wind's run. Crap! Ah, uh -huh. you didn't get him. So this is a wind shrine? I imagined it to be less rocky. Huh. Oh, it's got symbols on. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Okay, so we need to wind waker it up. So it's up, left, right. That's pretty much the thing he told me to do originally. Nice. Wind's Requiem has just popped up on my Wii pad. Cool. Whoa. Wait, did we just change the wind direction? What? <laughs> you, you remind me of one of the guys from Rayman. You know, like Glowbox. Yep, that's a mighty fine breeze. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Hmm. You're a little bit short. I like my men big and Early. Oh well, for a beginner, I guess you're okay. What tune you've just picked up? Well, that gives you control over the direction of the wind blows. 
Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very naughty thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Well then, look at the dirt on that wind waker. <sighs> it saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? He loves that. All right, weird little glow box, buddy. See you later. Have fun with your little cloud. I hope we get a little cloud later. I've always wanted a little UFO cloud. Okay, maybe not UFO cloud, but, you know. One of those things. Oh, we got bomb plants? Danger, do not attack the explosive fruit. But why not? Okay, it's okay. That is why not. <laughs> What have we got here today? Poor guy. Oh, it's a picture of Beetle. Okay. Well, we'll go see Beetle for ourselves. We don't we don't need to worry about all this malarkey. Where is Beetle anyway? I swear we saw Beetle. Did, right? Where's he gone? Perhaps he's circling the island or something. I don't know. Whatever. Find that Beetle. If you don't need our, our sales, then pfft. I guess we'll go spend our money somewhere else. Oh, another bottle. I'm going to stop collecting these bottles soon. It is pretty much the exact same picture. <laughs> it's not creative like our squiggled in thing from last time. I can't remember who sent that. It's no longer in my, uh, my thing. Rock! Oh! <gasps> The heart, cool. Just an up arrow, that's a... Uh... What about the text link? What does the text say? <laughs> you loony. This sign's useless. Okay. So blow up it up. Blow up it up. Uh, up it up. I said that weirdly. Up it up. The hell was that noise? It was just like a... Weird. Oh, there's a thing down here, so that's a shortcut, right? Okay, we should probably blow it up too. Don't see why not. Get it. Money, money, money. What about that little rock too? All oh, the world's treasures. It is Beetle, he is cycling. What a strange thing to be doing, Beetle. What is that weird whistle noise? Is it you, Tree? No, it's not you. Beetle, wave at me. I'm coming, Beetle. Yeah. Let's go spend more of our money. I'm sorry, man. But I don't need to spend none of my money on your shit. I can't remember if I blew this up before. Whatever, it gives me money. I'll take it. Right, what do we got over here? More rocks to blow up. I love blowing up rocks. The bridge here is broken. Mail center, that's the way we need to go, I'm guessing. I used my awesome powers of deduction to uh, deduct that, okay. That was dangerous. I for it all the way over there. Oh, no, I can't. Never bomb, please. Thank you. There we go. It's a lot easier when I don't bounce it off the rock. Because I sure as hell can't smell what that rock is cooking. Go, demurt, please. Now isn't the time to be looking all miffed about having to shimmy. That gets me every time. <laughs> oh, it's great. I don't know how to- ah! How do I drop the bomb? Okay. Oh. ZR to drop. Cool. Nice. I still don't know what that whistle noise is. <gasps> Quill? Is, is that you? I think your name is Quill, right? 
The merp? The merp, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you okay, but what are you doing over here? I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Oh, she's still taking up the ass by a bird, huh? Well, don't you worry, I have an idea, Demurp. Would you like to milk... Would you like to milk our chieftain? No, I would not like to milk your chieftain. Would you like to meet our chieftain? <laughs> I've told my people here about you, and all of us, Rito, are very concerned, you see. We're a hive mind. If I'm concerned, they're all concerned, you see. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you an aid of your airy. It's settled then. I will fly on ahead and let everyone know that you're coming. Come inside, Demurp. Not out here. We have cleaners inside, and you'll just be waiting for the rain to mop it up out here. I'll be waiting! Yeah, I remember seeing his name when I was looking up artwork for, uh, Wind Waker. For my thumbnail. Okay. Let's destroy these pots, I guess. And then we will come inside. Nice. Oh! It is basically a post office. Cool. Well, have you discovered the cause of Great Valu's anger? Oh, you say he fell on a rock, huh? And stubbed his toe. I can see. I understand. As time passes, he will probably become better. Ah, so you are the Merp, are you? Quill has told me about you. He never said your outfit looked so... Dashing? Hmm. Either way, your sister being kidnapped is an incredibly troubling tale. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. Like, maybe, you know, direct you straight to the dragon and sort out his shit, because you're totally gonna have to do that. Yep, here we go. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched on top of the mountain? Yeah, he looked kinda cool. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. That gives him the power of Curry Fart. And with that Curry Fart, he can fly. I see you too have experienced the power of the mighty Vindalufat. Quill here is just absolutely incredible at it. But we can no longer approach him because he's been cranky or something. So if they never get their scales, they'll never get their wings. La -di -da, -di da As Chieftain of the Rinto, my responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to uh, do it for me because, you know, you look like you're uh, cosplaying as the Ocarina of Time guy. You know, Link, the Merp. The actual hero! Chieftain, why do you think of consulting the Merp with regards to your son, Prince Kamol? Kamoli. Holy Kamoli. As you can see, the Merp is a, a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamoli would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. After all, his man period cannot last forever. That may be. Let me be direct, my son, Kamoli, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak, in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son, maybe kidnap his sister or something, I don't know? That seemed to work for you, didn't it? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that you may better help with yours. I have something I wish to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it from her? Forcefully? Make her feel like she's wanted around here, you know? Really rough her up a bit? I'm gonna go sit over here and watch. Mm. Here, Demurb. Take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. Ah, oh, cool, delivery bag. With so many pockets, this can hold many items. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great value to us. Meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. 
Cool. What's inside the bag? Absolutely nothing. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you next time. Please add a like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the video. I'm going to have to re-record so much of that audio. Jeez.